Hey there, YouTubers. Quick video on installing frame sliders, uh, the cuts frame sliders. I don't believe in no cuts anymore after crashing with some and having them snap right off. Um, so I'm, I'm now a fan uh, of the cut frame sliders. I haven't crashed with them yet, so maybe, uh, well, hopefully I'll never find out. But from what I've heard from people that do a lot of track racing and have laid their bikes down, these are the way to go, something that's pretty flush with the bike. So this is the uh, CBR1000RR. This is a Woodcraft. These are Woodcraft frame sliders. Um, one of my biggest things with the having the, the cut frame sliders is you have to pull the mid fairings off, which is kind of a pain in the neck. It's a loud it's going by. So I decided to, uh, in theory, I was thinking you could drill some pilot holes uh, get approximately where the bolt is and then drill the hole and then shape it out with a Dremel um, and I couldn't think of any reason why that wouldn't work even though other people said it was a bad idea but you really got to pull the fairings twice to do it the other way because the first time you need to find where that bolt is and you put the fairings back on and then you you, you, you kind of shine a laser on it you put the fairings back on and then you mark that spot and then you take the fairings off and you drill them and put them back on again so I decided this would be an easier way to go um, here's the end result on the left side Really, it's you'd have to really get in there to try to find anything wrong with that job. That's just like dust and stuff from sanding, but it's a uh, it's a pretty clean job. The fairing's not perfectly flat, so it looks warped. But when you go around, you see that it's actually um actually pretty clean. So all I did was I drilled a couple of small pilot holes using uh whatever. X size drill, but this is a uh, 3:30 seconds. I drilled some pilot holes in. I could see where that where the bolt is. Drilled the pilot holes with that. Picked the pilot hole that was the closest, and then went to work with the two-inch hole saw, which is just uh, slightly smaller than what what you would need. Uh, was that way I could shape the hole out a little bit larger with the Dremel. I didn't feel like uh, messing with this thing twice. The, the lower fairing on this thing is a pain in the neck. So I was putting on the Yosh pipe today and that's when I decided to just go ahead and do my frame sliders while I was at it. Uh, this hole, this is what it looks like when you first get started. So I've already drilled this hole. As you can see, it's considerably off. It needs to be about like this. So I'm gonna have to shape out this with the Dremel. And when I'm done, it'll about look like the other side. 